Hi guys, so I found the perfect amount of mixture for this particular container. This is not technically like for embeds. However, you can get a couple of them on Amazon normally in a set and there's 126 of them total with this. And my mixture here is 115 grams of baking soda and 115 grams of citric acid. And these ones are gonna be blue. This is the particular dye that I'm going to be using. And I'm gonna do a quarter of a teaspoon of that. And when I'm putting this in here, I'm gonna to try to spread it out as much as possible because once I spritz it with the water, you want it to hit everything as good as you can so that way it will bloom better. I have tried blooming the dye first within liquid and then adding it into here and it really doesn't work that great because it ends up always being too much liquid for the mixture. So this is I think the really the best way to be able to combat uh, those things. So then I'm using like one of these Mr. Bottles and I try to just as evenly as possible spray and then start mixing everything together. You really shouldn't need more than just that one spray. And keep in mind when this actually hits the water, this is going to change and intensify as well. So you'll really see the, the true, true vibrancy from this. I think for my regular bath bomb mixture, I am actually going to do these liquids that I had made up. But I'm still kind of experimenting the best way to be able to make a larger batch of bath bombs and then separate it into different colors so that way you don't have to like I can add the citric acid and everything like do the full full recipe and then separate them out into bowls without having to measure something perfect and add pigment into say the three or four or five bowls and get them to be the color you want it to be without having to make your main mixture without the citric acid, separate it all equally in measurements, and then divide out the citric acid in your batch by all of them. Like that to me is just too much work because maybe I only want a small amount of one color and larger amounts of the other two. So this is what our mixture looks like. And then I'm gonna start, I'm gonna, cause I know it's going to cover the whole thing. I'm just gonna pile it on in the center. And then literally I just kind of massage it like back and forth and anything that you get over the edges, it'll be fine. I like my little Pampered Chef scraping tool to be able to pick it up. You could use a pastry scraper or something like that. The Dollar Tree even has these thin plastic frosting things that's easy to scrape it up off the bottom tray and put it on here. So not really using any pressure at all, just really kind of like rubbing and gliding over the tops of them. And I, I kind of at the end, I might press in a little bit, but really I think just rubbing this mixture does a really good job. And then I'll kind of pull it to one corner, scrape up any of the excess and put it back on top of here. And just keep doing that until you have a majority of that mixture inside of the mold. I really try to focus on the edges because 
I think since you're worried about pushing it over the edge, those might get lost or not have as much in them. And you can even see as I'm doing this, like they're starting to kind of change color a little bit more. I did try to do the blooming, like use alcohol in the mixture instead of water. And I really found that water is best with this as a majority of people will tell you. And you can see how much less I'm collecting at this point in time versus that, that first time. And the alcohol did not do as good of a job, but I find that if I put the powder into a cup with a little bit of liquid, it just adds too much liquid. Even if I did that one spray equivalent worth, it's too much. So I'm kind of now going in and pressing these down a little bit that everything is pretty much massaged in and then the first time I made these I left them in this container for a couple of days the silicone tray for a couple days and came back flipped them all out the embeds looked absolutely amazing I put them all in Ziploc baggies and then when I went to go and make bath palms a few days after that they were not in little cubes anymore. It had formed this gigantic chunk of embed powder and the Ziploc bag was exploded like, you know, there was some type of gases being released into the whole baggie. So I opened it up, let it all air out, you know, and basically all of the embeds that I first made all went to crap. So I reached out to Fizz Fairy, which is where I had gotten all of my initial sample uh, pigments from. And she, they or they, I'm assuming she, but whomever answers their emails and their customer support had said that what they do is wait for like 12 hours and then you can pop them all out of the trays and then leave them on the trays for another 24 hours because what happens is the silicone molds are preventing all of the moisture from escaping in these. So once you flip them out, if you can leave them a little bit longer, then they will completely dry out where they're supposed to be. So I now, I've done a couple of different colors of these so far, trying to play around with the measurements to be able to get it right. And I'm going to attempt to do that. And then I will post the pictures of the, or like, and the video of what the embed looks like when you put it into water, as well as that process of 12 hours in the silicone molds, pop them out 24 hours out of the molds if that process made them any better so you can stick them into a closed container and store them without having them explode more onto you. Hope this helps. Okay, so it has now been almost 24 hours since I had made these in bed and I just wanted to show what they look like when you remove them. I think they all did really well using this new formula and then you get, um, with the recipe anyway, you get the perfect 126 of them if I remember correctly. So there is a little bit of powder that's coming out on these. But for the most part, it looks like they're staying solid. So that is very hopeful. That might be just a little bit of the residue from the top 
you know, from, from kind of doing the massaging on the mold and pressing them in. Because it doesn't look like these are breaking any apart, really. And then I will come back and show the vibrancy of the colors and the fizz in these ones as well. So one thing to note with these ones is after I put or get all of them out of the mold, even though these ones feel pretty dry, I'm going to leave them on the same tray for another, oh look, that one kind of crushed a little bit. It was probably because it was on the, the edge. But I'm gonna leave them dry on the tray overnight at this point because it's um, 9.30 at night. So I'm gonna let these dry on the tray overnight or um, I will put them in a jar, but just not close the lid on them so that they have even more dry time before we're done. So here's our glass of water. And then we use one that's kind of like not as perfect as our little tester. So you can see, oh, let me maybe come down here a little bit more. So you can really see it is a very, very gorgeous purple color. You can see a little bit of kind of the blues in there, but it is very amazing. Oh, that might be a little bit better, I guess, maybe the clear on clear background. But this is a very gorgeous royal purple color. This was from the plum embeds. And then I will show you one of the blue. This one was just the blue number one, I want to say, is the color. So I'll pop out one of these guys. And this one is going to be used as a part of my red, white, and blue bath balm for the 4th of July. And I think that's going to be a perfect color complement. So I'll make the main part of the bath balm just the white and then put the red and white embalm embeds in there. It's going to be a smaller bath, or a smaller ball for my pedicure. So I'll just put one of each in there. But if you had a larger one, you could put two of each of them and I would just kind of stagger them. So have a red one, a blue one, a red one, and a blue one. That way it'll kind of give some differences instead of having all the blue in one place. And you can see that's even still kind of reacting a little bit. So that is definitely pretty awesome. I hope that this helps. Have a great day.